What's going on fishing folks? Welcome back. We're at a small little uh, private pond today and we're gonna try out some some uh, micro lures for bass fishing. Let me show you what I got. You got a little uh, little micro diving crake bait. Got a little micro spinner, little tiny inline spinner. I get this little guy right here. Little crawl style deep diver. I think this one is more like a wake bait. Oh, it's stuck. This one here's a little uh, micro square bill and got this little grasshopper popper that's what we're going to start off with today i uh i've got a five foot long two-piece ultralight rod let's go get it wet see if we can't keep it bent shut up, shut up and sit, and sit down, down. All right, y'all, we're gonna start out with this little uh, silver and black grasshopper popper. Oh, thing's so light, it's hard to cast. Oh, it pops really well. I don't know if y'all can see that out there or not. This water's glass smooth. Pretty dirty, it's been raining all night. I've fished this a few times. From what I've seen of the fish in here, there's nothing real big. I've got it on a pretty light line. I mean, it's a... I think it's a 10 pound braid going to a eight pound leader. Let's see if I can get over here by these bushes. There we go. This looks like a little cicada or something on top of the water. All right, let's move on down to the corner down here. Maybe some of this muck on top of the water will bring out some bass. All right, y'all, we'll move to the opposite side of the pond. It's a little bit deeper over here. A little bit more grass cover. There's a drain right here. The water of the pond's up pretty good. I'm gonna stand out on this drain. Well, let's just keep on moving. Things hard to keep track of on the water. It's so small, and there's so much grass and stuff in the water. I can't hardly see it. I mean, I can I can see it if I pop it or move it. And this water's just glass smooth. If I look away for just a second, it's gone. And I get these sticks and this vegetation on the water. I'm gonna throw it out in front of that and see if I can't get something to come up and get it. Something smacked at it. The first sign of life we've seen all morning. Let's try it down here on the other side of the weeds. And something come after it and missed it. Well, y'all, they don't seem to be interested in the popper at all. We're gonna go over here and see what else we can figure out to put on here. I might go with that little micro square bill for now. It blows my mind they're not hitting this popper. I mean, I had, what, two? small blow-ups on it but y'all see how small that thing is i mean that's my finger next to it so I, something should have eaten it i don't know what's going on we'll try something else all right y'all there's a little micro square bill i have no idea what the action's like on it oh it's got a good wiggle to it a little fire tiger thing i love the fire tiger colors These things are so hard to cast accurately. 
get it out here and start cranking it and see if anything nails it. All this grass on the water, probably tons of bugs in the water. These fish might be full. Who knows? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. One little bass right at the bank and I missed him. Wasn't even expecting that. Now my line's all fouled up on my hook. I did not expect that little bass to attack that thing. I like to scare the crap out of me. Now I was just getting ready to leave. Now I'm gonna have to stand here and fish for a little bit longer. All right, last cast. If I don't catch anything this time, I'm done. All right, one more time. Wait, what? Y'all thought I was gonna finish a video without ever catching a fish? Ain't gonna happen. What the hell's wrong with you? You know better than that. New pond, a couple days later. It's super early, so we've gotta be quiet. I don't wanna wake up my buddy and his family. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take two rods down there and these micro lures and see what we can do. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all. Like I said, we gotta be kinda quiet down here so I don't wake up him and his family. But we're starting off with the popper again, a little grasshopper thing. Y'all can see how small it is, how small those hooks are. I already took a hook to the top of the finger. Some huge grass carp out here right now. I, I showed me catching one of those on a video before this. out here on the water and get it wet see if we can't keep it bent y'all that'd be awesome to catch one on the first cast and these fish are usually hungry in here so i've had pretty good luck here oh there we go first cast baby yes first cast oh what is oh it's a little brim well not so little brim check that out Got him on a topwater popper. Come on, little buddy. I ain't trying to get stuck. I'm gonna use these pliers. First cast. I know I like bass fishing, but I'm catching fish. Oh, check it out. I can lip him. There we go. First fish, y'all, on the popper. Get back in there. Thank you, buddy. Let's do that again. Let me get it out there where it's a little bit deeper. Are we gonna get something on second cast or not? Something came up and hit it. I imagine it was another one of them little brim. It's like, oh crap. No. No. Y'all, I don't know what that was, but it was big and we broke off. Dang. Oh, that sucks. Y'all, I cannot believe we broke that little popper off of that. I mean, we caught a fish on it. We hooked another one. So this is pretty shallow over here, so. Let's go back to the uh, little square bill and fire tiger. See if anything's hungry for that. Dang, I'm so bummed that we broke off. All right, guys, we got the little square bill tied on now. Make sure you can see that thing. Go and get it out here and hopefully we catch something. I have no idea. Man, I'm just bummed cannot believe we lost our little grasshopper it's been pretty warm here lately so i don't oh god we got one already first cast on the square bill and it's a bass oh that's a dark bass oh and he came right off hold still there we go y'all yeah baby thank you buddy 
I told you all these, but these fish are hungry. All right, so we can do that again. That's what, three casts, two fish? I didn't think this little crankbait was gonna do anything. But... Oh, got another. Oh my God. Yes. Get over here. Just barely got him too. You be good. Uh, don't start. Uh, see, that's why you don't trust these little fish. So it will flip like that, and you will get a hook past the barb in your finger in a heartbeat. There we go, y'all. That's what, fish number three, bass number two? Let's keep on going with this little mini crankbait. All right, y'all, this thing's really hard to cast. I'm gonna try to get it out here, up under that tree. I got it close. Let's see if we can get anything over in there. That little bit deeper water. I thought something had it, but I think it was just the square bill doing its job and deflecting it off a branch. Let's get out of here. This little five foot ultra light rod, man. Every one of these little cookie cutter bass feels like a 10 pounder. See, this is how I expected them to do the other day at that other pond. Just be tearing this thing up like that. But they did not. I might have to get out some bug spray here in a minute. I know it's raining, but mosquitoes love me. I do have some other mini baits coming in the mail. I'm not going to tell you what they are until they get here. I'm pretty stoked. Oh no, we got in the tree. No. on it. Oh, it's stuck good, too. <sighs> Hopefully it comes off. Doesn't break the line. Nope. Daggone it. Well, dang it, y'all. That's two lures lost. Two of the micro lures. I'm going to have to get online and buy more micro lures. This is fun. I'm going to try this little spinner. Basically a beetle spin. But it's, I would consider it micro. It's pretty small. A little pink jig head. It's actually a crappie bait, but let's get it tied on there, see if we catch something. All right, y'all, we got the little micro spinner on there. Little beetle spin, white with a little bit of green on the back and a pink jig head. This is the only jig head that I had. Let's see how they like it. Hopefully I don't break it off. I was using straight braid, but it's only like 10 pound braid. Let's have something jump over here. I'm afraid to cast near that tree now. I think that jig head's like a 132nd ounce. Oh, something smashed it. Oh, we got one. Yes. Smoked it. Oh, he just a little dink of a bass, but. Come here, buddy. Come here. No, calm down, calm down. There we go, y'all. I, I don't even, I think this is bass number four or five. I don't even know. Getting back in the water.
it going? How are you? Good. You? Good. You know this is private property? Yeah, it's Mark's property. I'm sorry? It's Mark's property. I don't hear very well either. I didn't even hear your truck run until I turned my head towards it. I said, yeah, it's property. Okay, usually if, um, if you're a friend or, a or an acquaintance, yeah. okay, usually the property owners need to be with you because this is association. This this over here is his property. Yeah, I'm his, I'm his brother. He told me it was fine. Okay, let him know that, and that, that's fine, but usually the property owner should be with the, the people. I mean, he's, he's not going to stand here and... I'm sorry, that's the way the, the association has it. Just letting you know. Alright. Have a good day. You well y'all, we just got our first Kyle on the channel. He's the HOA president here. My buddy's giving me permission to fish here. I don't know how many times. It's his property. I'm honest property. This guy just he gets way too involved in everybody else's stuff. Oh, this thing's getting munched out there. Anyway, he gets way too involved in everybody's stuff. I wasn't going to be a douche to him, but I'm also not going to stop fishing. But uh, yeah, that's welcome to the wonderful world of I don't like what you're doing because I'm not doing it, and so you shouldn't be doing it. Anyway, let's uh, keep a good attitude. We'll stay positive and catch some more bass. All right, y'all, what to try, what to try. Let's get this little, I think it's a wake bait. Let's get it tied on here and see what she does. If it's too much of a diver, we may have to go to deeper water. And that just means we have to go down to the other end of the pond, but, which is fine. It does have rattles in there, so I don't know how well it'll float, but it, I'm pretty sure it's a wake bait. Let's get back over here to the water and get it wet. Yeah, it floats. Yeah, oh yeah. Got all kinds of action. <laughs> Something came up and smashed it. I sure get how long this pond is. It's made a heck of a trek through the woods. But we're down at the other end now. That's a lot deeper down here. All right, y'all. Let's see if we can get something over on this side. I haven't caught one on this little uh, diving crankbait. I don't, I don't even know what to call this thing. It's not a wake bait. It doesn't stay up on top. That's on this side might be a little bit less active out in the open water. I don't want to throw this lure towards some trees over there because, well, that's just asking for it to get caught and I'd never see it again. Yeah, I thought it was a wake bait, but apparently not. It's a deep diving crankbait. I don't know how deep it goes. The water's pretty muddy and I can't see it. Let's see how close I can get to these trees over there. Horrible at aiming this thing. There we go. Got something. Another brim. Let me tighten up my drag a little bit. Not too bad. Not a dinner plate, but. Oh, he came right off. There you go, buddy. Get back in the water. Get out there. He gone. All right. Back. Oh, we got something else. I think it's just another brim. I thought. I didn't think that. I don't know. It's a little bass. Here we go. Yeah, baby. Come right on them trees. I knew they'd be under them trees. Smoked it. Barely hooked. Right in the bottom lip. Make this easy on both of us. Hold still. Let me use my pliers anyway, because I don't trust your little butt. All right, y'all. That might be the dink of the day, but... I don't know. I don't even know how many this is. Let's 
let's get him back in the water. Thank you, buddy. You know, I know y'all don't always hear me say it, but every time I catch a fish, I always thank the Lord for letting me get out here and enjoy this pastime and catch his beautiful creatures. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we got another one. Oh, hold still. He's pooping. Don't hook me, buddy. All right, I got you. You just hold still. Oh, ow, damn it. All right, y'all, well, I didn't get the release of that on camera. He jumped out of my hand after I got him unhooked. He was ready to go. God, I hate treble hooks. Dang, on. Got one right away. Another brim. <laughs> well, that one's pretty. He's not as pale as the last one. He fought better than most of these bass have. Hold still. Oh, little booger spined me. All right, y'all. Here's a other brim. Get him back in the water. I got my bait stuck in my shirt. I gotta get it out. Texas rigs and lunker logs are so much easier. I imagine bigger crankbaits would be easier. I'd love to bring the best influence down here and do some kayak fishing, but I know Kyle would flip his lid. Y'all know that the male version of Karen is Kyle, right? I don't need to get a 110 pound kayak out on the water just to have somebody make me take it back off the water. Right, come on, fishy fishy. All right. Well, we caught bass on everything that we tried. There we're hooked up. I'm pretty sure it's a brim. Yep. Nice little guy. They're all about the same size too. Need some monster bass in here to eat some of these smaller brim. Thank you, buddy. Bye-bye. Y'all, I put a Mondo worm on because I'm convinced there's some bigger bass up under those trees over there. I put a eighth ounce tungsten weight on it, red worm hook. I'm gonna see if I can't get it up under them tree branches. I'll work that thing off the bottom a little bit. See if we can't get bit. That's probably too shallow right there. That's a fish. Oh, there we got one. Oh, that's, oh, he let go. Oh, come on. That's fish. Got him. Oh, see, I knew there was a bigger one. Yeah, baby. Come on. Come on. Atta girl. Atta girl. I'm about a two pounder. I'm 
Come on, baby. Get up here. There we go, y'all. Got us a bigger bucket mouth. Pretty. Pretty girl. I knew those bigger bass would be over in the trees. Let's get her released. There you go, girl. She gone. That big girl had some chompers on her. We lost about two, two and a half inches of a Mondo worm. That's still all torn up. There's our uh, our worm rattle. We'll rig this Mondo worm back on there because the curly, the curly tail still looks good. Let's see if we can't do that again real quick. It's not as pretty as it was, but I think it'll still pull something out of there. This rain can stop any time. There we got another. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, baby. Come on. Right in the bottom of the lip. Came right out. There we go. That was about the size of what we were getting earlier. But hey, a bass is a bass to me. We got Big Bertha out there. Go on, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. These ribbon tail worms getting it done. The Guggen worms getting it done. Let's see if we can get back out there. Came right out. There we go, y'all. Bass, I don't know how many. Thank you, buddy. A little bit of a rough touchdown. Sorry. That's fish. Yeah. Yep, we got him. It's a dink, but we got him. Ski on in here, little buddy. You almost unhooked yourself and you rehooked yourself. There y'all. There y'all go. There's another one. We can't do this all day. I gotta get out of here soon, but boy, I'm having too much fun. I should have told old Kyle that to subscribe to the channel. Our old Mondo worms are getting pretty sad. It's all chewed up. I cast a couple more times and we'll retire it.
Oh, they got my Mondo worm. I'd say we're done, y'all. That was fun. I'll do it again soon. Whew, y'all. Well, it did stop raining, got real muggy, now it's raining again. Micro crankbaits, bass, and, and uh, Kyle's, the male version of Karen's. They don't always mix, but those micro crankbaits got, them, got it done today. Old Kyle thought he was gonna run us off, and you know, I wasn't going anywhere. I gotta roll this window up. Oh, hang on. All right. Uh, I wasn't going anywhere. I wasn't gonna be a butt to him, but he thought he was gonna be to me. He wasn't too bad. I'll be back out here fishing again soon, hopefully. Let's recap. We caught some on the grasshopper popper, caught some brim on it, and then we broke it off on something big. I, I have no idea what it was. Uh, we caught some, I gotta get this hair cut, this, look at this. I haven't been cut in about a year and a half. Neither is my beard. I gotta make an appointment, get it all done. Anyway, squirrel moment. We had the micro square bill crankbait. Caught a few on it, caught a couple brim. Then we broke it off. Then we had the, the little 132nd beetle spin and we caught a few bass on that. I think, I can't remember if we caught any brim on it or not. I caught so many fish today, I couldn't even tell you how many I caught. Can't remember if we caught any on it or not. Caught a couple on the uh, micro diving crankbait. We didn't break it off. And I knew, I knew that if I threw that Mondo worm back in them trees, that it would get bit by a bigger bass. I pulled old Bertha out of there. Yeah, she was about two pounds. Wasn't, wasn't a monster bucket mouth, but she was she was nicer than, than anything else we caught. And we caught a couple more dinks on it. It, it. it got all torn up and and just, it was done. We lost it. We're done. I'm soaked. I'm soaked all the way down to my boxers. I'm gonna go home, get a shower, a beer, and relax for a minute, and then I'm gonna take a nap. Y'all hit that like button. That, hitting that like button, it, it gets my channel name out there. YouTube will will show my my videos to more people. Subscribe, man. There's no reason for you not to subscribe. You know, if that if that subscribe is red, then you're unsubscribed. Hit it, turn it gray, hit the bell notification, hit all, and you'll get notified of every video that I put out. The more the more people that I get on here subscribe, the more I'm gonna do. It's just it's motivation to me. Subscribe because there's gonna be a giveaway soon. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. I've already got the stuff. But I want to do it soon. And I know I mentioned it in one other video, but life gets busy, man. I work 70 hours a week at my job, and and then usually usually my videos come out on Monday morning because I've spent all night Sunday editing. I hope you guys enjoy it. Remember, get it wet, keep it bent, get the hell out of my car. What's wrong with you? Later. Go for a stop. Before.